there are some days when my job is very, 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 very good. Today's one of those days. I'm driving Audi's RS5. A5 has been an absolute phenomenal success. Really beautiful car. So when I got the RS treatment, you knew it was going to be very good. It's got a 4.2 litre V8, 450 horsepower, and astonishing performance. Literally astonishing. This thing is incredibly fast. So the recipe is very good. It's got that amazing 4.2 litre V8 engine. Plus with 450 horsepower, it's absolutely astonishingly quick. Not to 60 for four and a half seconds. So as you might expect, there's quattro four wheel drive and this helps keep all this power in check. But also this time around, there's a bit of a difference when it comes to the gearbox. Because it's the first time that Audi have used a double clutch gearbox, seven speed DSG, they're gonna call it something else obviously, but it's um, essentially that's what it is. It is very smooth and it does make you wonder why you'd necessarily want to bother with a manual gearbox in this case. I know the purists will always say, yeah, I want the manual, but I think a manual with this much power would be a tricky combination, especially given the amount of torque. And this gearbox is so smooth, um, it's so responsive that you really, you really don't need it. It is an absolute joy to drive, even at slow speeds, that grumble is just very satisfying. Yeah, it's totally at odds with what we've come ex to expect these days in these times of diesel and frugality. It's Banji, it's you know, 2,100 euro to tax it every year. The fuel economy is, is ridiculous. I mean, you would go through hundreds of euro of fuel in this thing. But having said that, do you know what? If the lot of numbers came in, if you had the means, would you have one? Yeah, absolutely. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous car, and so mean and menacing. Even parked up, it just looks like it's got serious intent. There's nothing overly brash about it, apart from the enormous 20-inch alloy wheels in this car, and those thunderous um, exhausts in the back. They look like two trombones. And uh, just that, those acoustics, that power, yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. You know what? This car is a bit ridiculous in some ways, though. It's there's a lot is it you know there's not really that much usable power. It's so fast that on normal conditions it's just uh, it's really unusable. Um, you know a three liter TDI A5 would perform you know almost as well in real world situations. Of course not as fast, but um, I just don't think you're going to really be able to use this power without a losing your license and b burning a serious hole in your wallet.